And today we're gonna review the Ambifold Flash Project by using it on the AD600, but you can easily use with a flash like this, but you need an adapter like so. If you don't have a modeling light on the flash, it will be way, way harder as we are gonna show you how it works. So the beautiful Angela will be here in the wall. The Boye connection will connect with your flash, slide it in, this is all metal because this will heat up. You have the lens in front. I actually have a problem with this lens, but we're gonna talk about that in a bit. You have a holder to put your gobos. The gobos are these patterns in metal. They're gonna ask Angela to select one. No, no it, this is not a magic trick. You select the one that you want, okay? <laughs> Sounds like this can even cut your fingers. So be a little bit careful. When you mount this, pay special attention to the entrance of your gobo holder. Honestly, it looks a little bit junky when you try to put it in. I'm gonna eyeball it to Angela there. As you can see now, photo isn't that great. Why? Because this lens is out of focus. I'm gonna turn on the modeling light. Now I can actually see the light and I can focus properly as so. It's much more easy to do some pictures like this. If you don't have the modeling light, it will be way harder to focus in or even plan how you're gonna photograph this. A nice cool thing that you have also is this color gels that you can put in front of the lens to project the color. And a really cool one that I advise you to buy is something like this, is that you have four doors to choose a pattern in your projection. Now, the only thing that I don't really like about all of these, when you move around, it looks a little bit clunky, okay? This one, I'm gonna push this guy a little bit backwards because this lands a very short field of view. It's one of the things that I don't like about this lens. Let's refocus. So we're gonna put the blue gel. I'm, hi I'm hiding Angela, you know, I know you're gonna want to watch Angela. And, <laughs> and to put the gel, it's extremely simple. You unscrew the front of this lens, you put it in and let's screw in. As you are adding a gel, it will cut a little bit of light, so raise the power of the flash. We don't see much of Angela, it's just the balls. Let's try to do something more interesting. She likes it. It's pointing up, it will bounce around and will be more of a ambient light. This projector loses a little bit of light. To test that, I'm gonna do one shot without any filter, without any gobo inside of it, and then just replacing this guy with a simple cone. Up. And Angela is overexposed, that means it's losing so I am at 800 ISO, I'm gonna reduce to 100 ISO. I'm gonna reduce the aperture from f8 to f11, extra stop. Now we have roughly a good exposure. A lot of light is loosed by using that guy. Let's do something completely different now. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, not use the lens that came with this puppy, I'm gonna use the Samuel Wanyang Yong. This lens is a wide angle, I want to open more and for that you need an adapter like this one. I never did this before, it's the first time. It looks awkward but the most awkward the better I guess. We're gonna add some smoke, Angela selected bright star uh, projection and the idea is to pick up the light crossing through her like that's the plan, so let's see if the plan works. Try to spread a little bit the smoke. Looks great, but I'm noticing something that I did notice before. This guy has a little bit of spill. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna point the flashlight as so, and I'm gonna do a test shot, okay? And as you can see, yes, it's spilling. So everyone, there we go. Preview and review of the Ambifold projector light. Quarterback.